Indonesia is known as a nation that has a very diverse culture. One distinct culture is that Indonesia has many local languages. With 715 languages, we are the second highest language in the world. Sadly, there are many languages that have started to become extinct. For example, Hulung, Bobat, Samasuru language, and many others. What causes the language to become extinct? One of the reasons is that people of region don't use it anymore and don't pass on the language to the next generation. Ironic, isn't it? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Alisa Dismarsa Azahra from Asofa Islamic Junior High School. I deliver a speech on the topic, the importance of preserving culture for students. Like I said before, of course, we don't want the language to become extinct. We, as a student, must preserve this culture. But how do we preserve it? The way to overcome is it by studying local culture. We can learn about local culture from many things, such as books, encyclopedias, or directly from the local people. The second is to teach various kind of national culture to the next generation. And the last one is to innovate and introducing culture to the younger generation. So does it not monotone? For example, being introduced of dynamic nuances of youth, but still maintaining the originality of the culture. However, most Indonesian people have started to influence of modernization, using Indonesian as their daily language, so that the original language is not really used for people who have migrated or have started to get used to Indonesian. And those who use the original language are only people who live in the area. There are even some regional languages that have almost faded because they are not used. Why can this happen? It begins with the families who did not really introduce the regional language to the children. And their families prefer to use Indonesian as their daily life. This makes the regional language begin to fade. And one more example. Children often don't understand what older people say. Even it's a parents or teacher. When their parents pronounce vocabulary, they are confused about the meaning of the word. Even took its Indonesian. Well, they know English. From here, we can see that Indonesia has begun to be marginalized by French language. So we also have start to realize what we have to do so that the original language doesn't fade away. Of course, we learn a French language as a form of progress. And culture must also progress. But we still have to preserve the original language, even we have to learn it again. And we can also use the original language at home, as we can speak Indonesian at school and office. The next generation is the most important medium for preserving culture. Why is that? Because humans have a limited age. So the next generation is the only hope as a media for cultural preservation. Most of time now, parents teach their children how westernized modern culture is, from the clothing that has been replaced by western patient, and typical food that has been replaced by fast food from a bird. It's even said that children no longer know what name of typical food from their own area is. Then its name, our respective regions are only known by children who took the subject at school. Therefore, the importance of the younger generation as successors must be realized by the surrounding environment, especially parents, both at school and at home. Get used to our children or provide early education regarding our different culture. So ladies and gentlemen, we expect the younger generation today must preserve our culture. Don't let our culture be left on the cold. We need to keep existing as long as we live. Preserve our culture as a form of gratitude to the Creator. That's all of my speech. Thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.